Welcome again viewers to the fabulous Las Vegas. It is now about half past ten in the evening. I think I'm heading down to the Link Promenade. I was thinking of going to a comedy show at half eleven, but it's took me so long to walk here. I don't have time for food unless I get a wee takeaway somewhere. This is the Venetian in case you don't know this. Um, I don't really know the point in these gondola rides, these fake kind of gondola rides. As if you're in Venice, not quite the same I don't think. $39 per person, so a couple, it's going to be nearly $80 plus a tip. Um, each to their own, wouldn't be for me that. Treasure Island, up there, helicopter, up there. Potentially a deal coming up for Treasure, Treasure Island, they might stay in there. Starbucks, got 24 hour supermarkets up there, CVS and Walgreens, if you need some supplies. So I have been heading down this way for quite a while and it's amazing how long it takes you to get from each hotel. You think it's two minutes away, 20 minutes later you're still walking, my back's killing me. Uh, Venetian's a beautiful hotel, we'll do a video in there maybe tomorrow, uh, on the channel at one point, maybe on it before this, we'll wait and see. Uh, the Mirage, I think, that's, is that getting knocked down and turned into something else? I think so. Casino entrance there to the Venetian, it's absolutely beautiful in there. Look how busy the balcony is up there. Uh, yeah, we'll do a video in there. Beautiful hotel. Let's continue. There's my wee eleven pound a night at Haraz Hotel, and I've done the room review. I made the mistake saying it was nine pounds. I get mixed up um, because I was looking at another hotel. It was nine pounds. I could have got the Strat, the Stratosphere, for seven pounds a night. But after walking up there today, I'm glad I didn't book that. I wasn't keen on the location. Much better location here. It's taking ages to get across here. I don't know what's going on. I've missed my crossing here. That was good. Yeah, people just ignore the enemy and crossing, so let's continue. Hopefully, don't get, if I get fined for jaywalking viewers, give me a wee donation. Only joking, I'll be fine. You see what I've done there? It says I'll be fine. It's amazing how obedient Americans are normally at the crossings. They just wait for the signal. I mean, this is. To me this is just simple, you can just go across here and saying that this guy's done this, this car's come around, he's not too happy. On you go mate, on you go. He's slowing down as if he's wanting people to cross. Right, coast is clear, let's go. Okay, it's not the Bellagio fountains, but we'll get there. We will film that at one point. I've just realised I've still not passed the fountains yet on this trip. Now, there's various videos about that on uh, YouTube. You need to be careful doing these kind of things. It can end up not well in all sorts of ways. You look up Google and just type in uh, what can happen when you phone these numbers. You'll see all sorts of horror stories. Casino Royale coming up here. Um, one of the few hotels, very few hotels on the strip with no resort fee. But to be fair, it doesn't make any difference because it's never cheaper than other hotels with a resort fee. The most important thing is the overall price. So Casino Royale, the other night was like £150 a night when I booked Haraz for £11. The resort fee was another £34, so still Haraz is a lot cheaper. Look at this. You can get yourself in the show there. Pretty cool, isn't it? Entertainers here are up to speed. They're doing well. Uh, they have got some very, very good deals in the, be in the Best Western Casino Royale. We used to have William Hill bookies in here. Don't know if they still got it. I think I'll do another separate video showing you the deals in Casino Royale. Um, but if you caught that there, that guy is firing. He's covering all the angles. He's like, we've got guys, we've got girls. But you want to go to a club, they've got every, something for everybody. Something for everybody. There's Walgreens there if you need some supplies. They're not, they're not cheap, these places, but they're a lot cheaper than the hotel. Um, gift shops, a lot cheaper. There's a lot of helicopters going about tonight. I wouldn't go on a helicopter ride. I think my brother's been on one, Paul Nora, give me a shout. Have you been on one? I, I, I couldn't, I wouldn't go on it if you paid me. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, Casino Royale. They still have got the William Hill Sportsbook in there. Three dollars for a beer. Not bad, eh? It used to be a lot of dollar, but it's been up to three dollars. They've got deals with food in there as well. I'll go and do a proper video in there showing you. And um, 
you can get a wee bargain in there compared to all the other places here. This one, okay, located at the rear of the casino. We have got Pizza Hut, we have got hot dogs for 3 49 I told you, I've got your back. How is this possible? How is it possible on the strip to offer such good prices compared to everywhere else? And we've got a subway as well. I don't, I don't even know what the subway prices are. Anyway, let's take a wee wander around here. I'll show you where you can get the beers. That's the most important thing, forget the food. So, we're in the Casino Royale. It was named the number one world's best place to strike it rich. By the Travel Channel. There you go, did not know that. First $20 on us. So I told you they had some special deals. That's the hotel front desk. I said the hotel, is, I think the hotel is really basic, no pool on that. Uh, but they don't, you don't have a resort fee, so you might save $40 or something on the resort fee. But I, the, the hotel, in my opinion, is quite expensive for where it is. I mean, I'm staying in Haraz next door the other night for £11, plus the resort fee. So this hotel was well over 100 But uh, it gets busy later on. Night, actually, I was in here uh, later on in this, and it was a lot busier. Here is the bar. You'll basically get three dollar beers. They've got a good selection of beers for three dollars as well. I think at the back that's where the food is. Maybe look to see if I can show you some of the some of the beers that they do. So there's a selection of the beers I've got for three dollars. They've got loads. Loads of bad ones, mind you. But uh, some good ones as well. Uh, the Heineken's actually decent because it was cold. Uh, they've got Budweiser, Coors, Bud Light, Miller. Uh, and a few other ones, so it's, it's an amazing deal. Three dollars here. <laughs> three, I mean, for three dollars, it's, it's an absolutely incredible value, isn't it? And then down here, we've got the hot dog for three dollars forty-nine. I found another place in downtown, uh, at Fremont. Hot dogs two dollars. Don't know if you've seen that video yet. Actually, probably not. I got a copyright strike for music. I had to. I need to edit it. It's not the best. Is it? I oh, will say this, it's quite warm in here, but it's not the best air conditioned place. Another place doing Pepsi instead of Coke. I've never, I've not found one place doing Coke instead of Pepsi. I don't know what's going on in Las Vegas. So, $3.49 for a hot dog. I got a wee subway next to it, and then Pizza Hut next to it as well. What do you think, yours? Absolutely amazing. Right. Okay. I'm going for a beer. How is it possible? Same location, virtually. Obviously, not as grand, opulent casino, you know what I mean? But still, but still, what, $3 for a beer? I mean, come on, viewers. Hit the subscribe button, it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost a penny. Welcome to the fabulous Casino Royale in Las Vegas. You could sign up and get my $20 to see, get a wee bet on, can I? Might need to go to Venetian first of all, do a quick video, and then I'll come back for a beer. Yeah, it's a nice bar for a beer as well. I like just sitting about the bar. Nothing beats sitting in a bar, I think. Okay, viewers. Caesar's Palace ahead. Check out the video where I showed you the room I booked in Caesar's Palace. The room is an absolute cracker. I ended up not sleeping in it because I had a room booked in Haraz as well. So that's just the way it goes, isn't it?